the DJ said to give the best man your undivided attention, and that's obviously not me, but <laughs> thanks for your attention anyway. Um, I was told that I could give a toast to Rebecca and Brian, as long as it wasn't dumb or long, so it will hopefully be neither. Um, I basically just want to say, Brian, welcome to the family, and uh, I now have a sister and a brother dear, so I'm very excited. And I just wish you all the best, and I'm glad here I could be with you here today. Um, for those of you that don't know, when I graduated from high school, Rebecca took all the words to American Pie and changed them to be about me graduating. So I'm not going to exactly tell you all what I did, but it's in your car when you leave. I'm not going to sing or anything, because that would fall in the dumb category. <laughs> But if we could just all raise our glasses to Rebecca and Brian to a long and happy future together. So, here, here. You would think with all the uh, computer advice I've given you, you'd uh, give me some public speaking advice in return. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I'm sorry. laughs> okay, so um, probably 90% of you are looking around and have no idea who I am. A uh, quick back story, Brian and I crossed paths up at UConn, we were students, and um, he sort of stands out in the crowd, he's always cracking jokes, he's the life of the party, wearing his beloved Mets t-shirt, <laughs> some girly punk rock t-shirt of the current band at the moment, and uh, but when I first met him, he introduced himself as Brian to me, but actually, he, he's a big fan of nicknames. He actually nicknamed himself Bri2K, <laughs> which I thought was interesting, because I, I never could figure out, was it your love of worldwide computer blackouts, or <laughs> did you just think it was cool? Anyways, deep down though, Brian's a great guy, as you all know, he's also a teacher. Um, a lot of you can vouch for this, you were in his classes. And uh, watching him teach at a young age was really inspiring to me and a lot of our friends. And at UConn, you can have classes with 40 to 50 students minimum. Uh, it's, it's pretty vast. So remembering everyone's name was kind of an issue, but he has a clever tactic that he uses in everyday situations. What he'd do is he'd classify the students by their flaws and then <laughs> brand them with that nickname for the rest of their natural life. Um, we have a lot of here. Johnny Muffins is over there. Jimmy Cups. <laughs> I was actually honored one day to sit in one of Brian's classes. He had me come in every from time to time and check up on things. And Brian, being the stand-up guy he is, he actually would um, give equal opportunity to most of the kids in his class, except for this one student who always kind of talked out of turn. He gave him a maximum word count for the year. <laughs> this was basically, and he, like a good teacher, he kept track of this. Uh, the kid was allowed to speak about 150 words the entire semester. <laughs> 50 words, 50 words. And every time he spoke, he'd get, uh, you know, numbers down on the, the chalkboard. It was, it was a little strange, but he did learn a lesson in your class. Irony. Not being able to speak in a public speaking course. <laughs> so, Brian, though, is one friend I know will always be there for me. I know he'll always be there for Rebecca. It's a quality he's born with. I mean, in 20 years, he hasn't given up on the Mets yet. <laughs> Nor his father. <laughs> Um, we can all see the couple, they have a huge chemistry for each other. Brian's an extremely passionate guy. Excuse me, passionate guy for his work. He loves to exercise. Jack Daniels. Yeah, I love the 80s marathons. Dinosaurs. If there's anyone who knows more useless information about a species that became extinct a few million years ago, it's Brian. Seriously though, we've come an extremely long way from Yukon, and I'm unbelievably honored to be standing in front of all of you today. Um, Brian and Rebecca bounce off each other with jokes, love, and understanding of one another that I hope to find someday with someone. He's been like a brother to me, he's my best friend, and more importantly, I know he found the same in Rebecca. Uh, not the brother thing, though. <laughs> so I'd like everyone to raise their glasses and toast a happy couple to a marriage filled with laughter, love, and happiness. Thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you put those glasses down. Have a nice big.